I'm Professor Lee Hickey, Theme Leader of Predictive Agriculture here at the Queensland Alliance for Agriculture and Food Innovation within the University of Queensland. Breeders around the world working on plants and animals um, are collecting billions and billions of data points. Uh, everything from phenomics, genomics, um, multiomics. Uh, it's all about turning these billions of data points into knowledge to support better decision making in plant and animal breeding programs to accelerate the development of higher performing, more sustainable and profitable crops and animals for the future. Through several GRDC investments, uh, we have um, an, an exciting uh, package of research that we're undertaking. We're integrating artificial intelligence and speed breeding to rapidly stack multiple disease resistance in both wheat and barley. There's wide applications of this technology uh, we're working on wheat and barley for these tools, but really they're universal in terms of applications across all plants and animals because the, the goal of the breeder is the same. Uh, it's all about bringing together traits as quickly as possible uh, in an improved package for a farmer to grow. For the last 10 years, I've uh, invested a lot of time to develop protocols for speed breeding and communicate the benefits of speed breeding and work with breeding programs uh, around the world to establish the technology. I think this is just the beginning, integrating speed breeding with genomics and in particular AI, where we tap into these big data sets, is the new frontier for plant and animal breeding. I'm Professor Ben Hayes from the Queensland Alliance for Agriculture and Food Innovation here at UQ. So we see four applications for AI in uh, crop and livestock breeding. The first application of AI is working out what to actually breed for in our crops and livestock. It's been all about increasing productivity and yields. But in the future, we need our varieties or our animals to be more heat tolerant, for example, in the face of climate change. We also need to pay increasing attention to consumers' preferences for the food that we're producing. The second use of AI is already well underway, and that's using images that can be captured on a very large scale and very cheaply to capture genetic variation between lines or animals in certain traits we want to breed for. The third area where AI can be used, which we're actively using as well, is to take genetic markers or metabolomic markers, proteomic markers, and use that information to predict how good a variety is going to be for breeding. The fourth application is the one we're really excited about here at UQ, and that's really shifting the way we think about breeding from looking at the genetic potential of individual lines for breeding, breeding lots of progeny from those, to a system where we think about a breeding population as a group of chunks of DNA, chromosome segments, that are really good for a trait. But what you can use is the AI both to find that chromosome segment and then to work out the crossing path between the individuals that gets you to the ultimate stack of chromosome segments. And that's where speed breeding um, comes into play. Speed breeding, you can turn over multiple generations very quickly, so you can use those or make those crosses that you need to make to get to the ultimate genotype, where you have all the good chromosome segments coming together uh, very quickly.